hopefully. Go ahead, Tony. Hi, Liz. Hope, hope you're well. I am, thank you. How are you? Yeah, good. Um, first question is, I mean, this, this fight, you're, you're ranked at number two in the division and you're, you're fighting against someone who's unranked and actually, you know, to, to make their Bellator debut in this fight. Is, is, it seems as if it's a very high risk reward for yourself. What, how, how do you sort of, how do you respond to that? Yeah, I see that uh, this is a position I keep finding myself in. Uh, it happened in the UFC as well, where there were quite a few instances in my last few fights where the person that was coming in wasn't even ranked, and there I was fighting them. I certainly don't think that she doesn't deserve a ranking. I think that just because she hasn't fought in Belgium for some reason, she hasn't held one yet. And how, and, and last question, just appreciate more people online. How nice was it to actually get the, the win under your belt for Bellator in, in your debut for the promotion? And did that take a lot of pressure off of, off of your shoulders? You know, I always, I always keep pressure on my shoulders because I expect and idolize to have the best version of myself. And that's what I always push for. But it certainly did make a really good feeling to know that the chapter I'm starting with Bellator not only started with the win, but also started with the finish, which is what I really wanted to go out and make a statement about, was to go out there, have my hand raised, knowing that it wasn't a decision win, but actually a finish. Brady? Uh, hi, Liz. Hello. Uh, will you be looking to grapple with Porto despite her holding 11 submission wins? Yeah, I, you know, whether we're on the ground doesn't bother me. I mean, um, she can have 11 submission wins, but I'm a whole different beast that she hasn't faced before. It can be standing in me against the cage. It doesn't matter where we go. It's something I'm prepared for and ready and looking forward to. Gavin? Hello. Um, if you get this win on Friday at Bellator 256, where do you think that puts you with the rest of the division? I think, uh, if nothing else, just based on the rankings, a win would put me in title contention. If they're saying that I'm ranked 2-3, that I feel like that should automatically, just with this win, put me right on the, that track to going for that belt. Ronald, go ahead. Hello, Liz. How you doing? Good. How are you? Can't complain. I'm doing well. You've been in this game for so long, and you have evolved each and every time. So for yourself, while you're getting prepared for Vanessa, how can you look at yourself and say how far you've come throughout your career? Yeah, you know, it is uh, something I say is I, I try to evolve. I try and grow. The last thing I want to do is, is have stagnation and be that predictable fighter, not only for myself, but also because um, the fans get bored with that. Yeah, they like to see, know what they're going and what they're, they're watching and who they're going out for. But I want to show them that no matter what area it is, that I'm always trying to work on something new and evolving. And every fight, that's what I'm trying to do is grow and be the best version of myself, add more tools to my game and showcase all the tools and everything that I'm working on. Thank you very much. Abraham. Hi, Liz. Um, um, Abraham from the Fight League Report here. I was wondering, how do you feel this fight will play out? As you mentioned, she is unranked because this could, she's possibly unranked since this is her first Bellator fight, but she has fought some big names outside of Bellator, including Chris Cyborg. How do you feel this fight is going to play out? I think it's going to be a really good fight because it's going to allow us, we're both mixed martial artists. It's not like one of us is strong in just one area. Uh, we're able to adapt and overcome for whatever that, that area happens to be, whatever that specialty. So I see it going anywhere that we need to when there, I think both of us are going to be hunting for that finish and for those opportunities. So it's going to make it really exciting for the fans, but ultimately what's going to end of the night is my hand raised for the win. Pablo. Okay, Liz, the first thing I wanted to ask you is, uh, you only fought once on 2020. How many times do you want to fight on 2021? I'm hoping to fight in 2021 as often as I can. Um, I'm really hoping at minimum three fights this year. If I can get more than that, awesome. But I'm really pushing to get three fights this year. Max? Hi, I'm Max Morales from MMA Pit. And we saw you fighting in Mexico. We saw you, your debut uh, fighting for a belt against Ronda Rousey. You fought for that 135. You fought for 125 uh, belt, and now you're fighting in Bellator in your second fight. In which chapter of your career do you feel you are in? I think I'm in the chapter where I finally actually have the belt. Um, you know, I started off and I didn't have the advantage like other fighters of having an amateur career to really grow and learn and make mistakes. Unfortunately, I spent the early years of my professional career doing that. And I feel like I've, I've learned from all those mistakes and I've really been able to, to push past those and start evolving for the fighter that I want to be. 
And now this chapter is me showing everything that I've learned and being able to showcase that in a flashy and, and awesome way. All right, we'll take one or two more here. Maria? Hi, Liz. Maria Morales from the Throwing Bows podcast. How are you today? Good. How are you? All right. Uh, so just really quickly, you are in a position right now where you just won your first Bellator match. You had a stunning debut. And now you're fighting a fighter that's coming from Invicta on a four-win win streak in her debut. Can you talk to me a little bit about how you plan on maybe using that excited energy that she's going to be coming into this fight with against her to get the win? Yeah, you know, um, I think that coming into a different organization where they're coming off uh, wins or losses, it, it comes with a different energy and a different anticipation and expectation on yourself. So I expect that that's going to put some wear and tear in her a little bit differences than what she's used to. So I'm looking to capitalize on that as well as hoping that she'll be a little bit overzealous and overconfident, make mistakes, and I'll be able to pick apart those holes in her game because of it. So if you had to predict how you, how you win this fight, how do you win this fight to, uh, to on Friday? Um, you know, I'm one of those people, I, I picture it everywhere because I try to prepare for everything, but it's always with my hands in the air. Santiago? Hello, Liz. Thank you for the time. The women's flyweight division is absolutely stacked in Bellator. Denise Akilholz is ranked at number three, just one position behind you. Was a fight between you and Denise Akilholz ever discussed? Uh, not yet. I mean, this is, uh, Deanna was, was the first one. Now this is the second. There was not really any wind of any other fights, but I'm open-minded to whatever pursuing title contention. Good luck on fight night. Thank you. All right, last one here, Will. Hey, Liz, this is Will Gatling from the Fight Gods podcast. It was a strange move by the UFC to cut you after losing a title fight with Valentina. And since you came to Bellator, it seems like you have something to prove. What is it that you want to prove in Bellator? Uh, the biggest thing is just show, showcasing everything that I have. Uh, I've been in this for a long time, and I've learned a lot of things along the way. And I want to be able to show all the skills I have. And I don't feel like there's a lot of opportunities to do that. But with Bellator, you know, I had a, a chance my last fight and I was able to show some of it. And now I have another opportunity to showcase even more. Okay, good luck. Thank you. All right. Thanks for the time, Liz, and good luck on Friday. Thank you.